What's up guys, in this video it's all about making the best CV of all time. So without further ado, let's start the video. Okay, the first thing I'll do is go to Microsoft Word. Click that now, Word document. Yes, let's probably take this full screen. And now go to insert a table. If I go to tables, we can draw one if you want to. couple of lines here and there we can also go to layout go to the margins have them narrow as possible okay that will do yes go back to tables draw okay we can adjust the length of these tables two okay in the first part you're gonna put your name so I will say put the name here next needs to be your own details of where you live so I'll just say your address I'm tempted to draw another line here and in this box we can put in mobile numbers email address and maybe a few links to github or anything that you do in your spare time to show your employer what you're really about so I would say git or even a YouTube channel anything you think is relevant to your degree okay in the next section I would put in a personal profile Here you can say you are or you have studied a variety of courses. Blah blah blah. And say that you are currently studying a degree. yes and then here I'd have a, some bullet points to see to not to see to say so the first bullet point to say I'm very confident I would say I have a good work ethic whatever describes you needs to go into your CV and the next line or the next box I would now have my career objective I would say I am a third year university student. something on the lines of that looks like it's taking shape the next box I would probably have you need to have your education this will take a huge segment of your CV bearing in mind this is a two-page CV university's name this section this location and say 2015 or whatever you started at university and say present then in bold command B say BSC and the name of your degree 
then I'm tempted to put another line, draw another line. So I'll go back to tables, draw, yes. Have another line here, have another line here. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. I would write year one modules, year two, year three modules, the name of the modules, I would say, let's say, Java programming. And then here I'm tempted to have, or not, I would have the grade of the module. So move that down. The mark. Say you obtain something around 80%. I would put that in. Just copy this a few times and change it to a different programming language. I'll say C programming. Okay, ETC, and then I would now go into, not go into, I wouldn't list all my GCSE and A-level grades, I'd just say the school's name, so I'm going to have to put draw another line in. Draw another box in. Okay, so then I would say the school's name. The year that you started the school and then you left the school. And then you would say 10 GCSEs, including English and maths. Okay, that's done. The next box you need to put in your array level, so I'll just copy this, paste it here. I would say the college's name. And when you attended that college, so I would say 2010 till about 2012. So all your information, depending on when you started and when you ended, then I would say, then I put in my subjects that I did and its grades. and put the grades into, you get the idea. Okay. It looks like it's taking shape, so if I do this, I can click this and get rid of all the lines by saying none. That's how the CV should look, but when all the information is in, it won't look like mine. So if I go back, there you go. All right, next page. On this page, you need additional skills. Those are very important. So I'll have to draw another table. I'd put in a few technical skills. I'm about to get onto those. So I'll say slash additional. Really depends what your degree is really about. If you're not doing a degree related to technical stuff, you don't need to put technical in. You can just put additional skills. 
So I would have more bullet points to say, look, good knowledge. ETC. Excellent video and photo editing skills. And so on down the line. I'm just putting random numbers. These are all for you to fill out. At the end of the day, it's your CV. So, get rid of that. In this section, now you need to put in your experience and your employment. So, for us to go here and put all the work experience you've done at school, college, all that needs to go in. So if I was a primary school assistant, I would say school's name, when you did the experience, when you had the work experience, so if I say 2013 till whatever, depending on how much experience you have, put it all in. You get the idea. I would probably have some bullet points here too and see what you did in the school. Okay, that's all done. The next box I would have is just some interests, what I'm about, what I love doing, what I intend to do in the future. ETC and the last box is all about references you don't need to put in the references you can just say obtain references upon request so if I go back here obtained upon request what this really means is the company can therefore go and contact your teachers, your tutors, your employers. That's what it really means. So if I go back now, we'll make this smaller. The CV looks like it's taking place. The only thing you need to do now is just increase the size, make them bigger, bolder, larger. These things need to stand out. Where it says personal profile, that needs to stand out too. Career objective needs to stand out. Education needs to stand out. Technical additional skills needs to stand out. Yes, experience and deployment needs to stand out. Interest needs to stand out. References needs to stand out too. Okay, that's how your CV should look. So I can save this now. Go to the desktop. See if you save this. And now the only thing left now to do is just get rid of the borders because you're not handing in a CV with borders. That was just the layout, the grid layout, the method that I show you how you make a CV using borders. So if I go up to here, So get rid of this. Go back to here. Get rid of this. 
And that's it, to be honest. That's how your CV should look. So you have a name. This shouldn't be bold. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, yes. Just a quick recap on how your CV should look like. So in the first text box, we have a name, then we go into the next text box with the address, then your other details, such as your mobile phone, email, links to your portfolio profiles. The next one is personal profile. Say that you have studied a variety of courses, you're currently studying a degree, and give a couple of keywords and explain these keywords, expand them. Then your career objective, let them know that you finished your degree, you're currently a third year, second year, first year university student, and your aims are to do this in this industry, then go into your education, your degree, the school, your GCSEs, the college, your A-level results, go into your additional skills, what you do in your spare time, what knowledge you have, and then experience, experience and employment, why you've done work experience, if you have a job now, and then your interest, what you love doing, the references can then be obtained upon request. Okay, now I will decrease the size of this. And this is the two-page CV. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for now.